Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I'm using Explore 3 to make a huge sign. So this could be done on Explore 3 or Maker 3. And you could in fact do it on your early Explore machines and your Maker, but you would have to slice your design up and do a larger than matte. And I will show that in another tutorial, but for today we're going to create a great big sign on Explore 3. And the reason I'm doing this is so that I can show you how you weed such a big design and then how you transfer it as well. So this beauty is 60 inches long and I've got some layering to do as well. So I'm going to go to make it. Everything is from Design Space. And this S here is Curls MT. Now it says, how will you load your materials? I'm gonna do multiple ways because some I'm gonna do without a mat using smart materials and some I'll do on a mat using normal materials. So I'm going to select multiple ways. Obviously with this one, because it's so long, it doesn't give me the choice. I have to do without a mat because I can only use smart materials in one go for this. If I wanted to do it in several pieces, I would slice it and then it would allow me to do it on a mat. But of course then I'd be using normal vinyl. I wouldn't be using smart vinyl. Look at that. And I will show you in another video how you can actually save this excess and keep everything as a smart material. But for today, because that's just long and narrow, I am going to cut it and just have it as off cuts on the mat because you can use smart materials on the mat as well. I'm going to go to continue. It's found my explore three. Because on this one I've selected without a mat, it will only allow me to choose smart materials. So if I go to browse all materials, it's only smart materials that are available. I'm gonna use smart vinyl permanent and I'm then going to go and get ready and cut that out and I'll cut all the other pieces out as well. I'm going to open up my Explore 3. So I'm just going to add my roll holder to my Explore 3. I absolutely love this. I've got my permanent vinyl, so I'm going to put that into my roll holder. And then I'm just going to feed that through. And then that's going to come under these grid lines all the way up to my rollers. I can then load this and then it's going to check that I've got the right amount of material. There you go, you can see it all coming up. And it doesn't naturally roll back in, so I'm just helping it to roll up. There we go. And of course the machine does stop in between. So if you've got loads that spill out, you can actually roll it back up to keep everything nice and tidy. Once that's done, I can then trim this off. And I can of course remove my roll holder and then unload my mat. So when it comes to weeding, I like to do it in sections. So I'm going to use my true control knife just to separate that vinyl and I'm not cutting through the carrier sheet, I'm just cutting the vinyl. I can then take away a bit at the top and I'm just going to come in and weed that away. And this smart vinyl is easy weed which I have to say is brilliant stuff. It's a bit of a pain to transfer, but we'll go through that 
shortly, but the weeding process is wonderful. So this is a big design, so we're going to use different techniques for transferring. So first of all, we've got to get our transfer tape onto our design. So you can see I've pulled a little bit of my transfer tape back and the backing I've also folded over. I'm going to bring a bit of my design up and I'm just going to lay that down like so. I'm then going to get that piece there and I'm just going to gently start pulling it back. And as I pull it back, my transfer tape becomes exposed. And I can then press that down. Underneath, I'm going to pull back some of my backing So that is now all transferred and you can see I've cut down the sides but that transfer tape I can reuse again and again. So I've just put it back on the backing but the reason I've cut it down is just to make the whole process a little bit easier. Right, I'm now going to come in and I'm going to really use my scraper to help that vinyl transfer onto that transfer tape. And then of course we can turn this over and scrape from the back. So next I've got some baking paper. So this is just some normal baking paper which I've got in a large roll from Amazon. And this is what's going to make my transference really easy. So I'm going to do my transferring a little bit at a time. And we're going to concentrate with this top bit first. Now don't forget the backing on this is a lot more rigid so you will find that there's areas that don't want to come up. So if that happens just bend that backing right over and that will help to transfer it. So again we're just going to bend that right over and we're almost going to roll it, rather than pulling it, we're rolling it backwards. And when we get a bit that doesn't want to stay, we're just going to bend that backing over and then continue to roll. When we get to this point, we're going to actually cut this away. So I'm just going to get my scissors because I don't need that and it's just going to make the whole thing a little bit more difficult. So next we're going to do this section and again we're going to come in with our scraper and just give that a good old scrape. We're going to pull back a corner and again we're just going to roll this back until we get a bit that doesn't want to stick and then we're just going to push that down and roll. And then again we're going to just bend that right over and then roll and the same for that bit there and then just gently roll that back and then again we're just going to chop away that excess 
Now this is obviously very, very sticky and we don't want to end up in a muddle. So we're going to get our baking paper and we're just going to place that over the vinyl. And the great thing is it will stay in place but it won't actually affect the stick of our vinyl or our transfer tape. So I can then roll this back and I can just add that to there. So all this is protected and I can carry on taking away my backing sheet. So again, we're going to do this next section and we're going to come in and just roll that back and we've got a little bit there. So again, we're just going to push that right over and then roll. Same with that bit, we're just going to fold that and then roll it back. And then again, we're just going to cut away that excess. So that is now all transferred onto our transfer tape and it's got that baking backing to it, A to stop everything from getting muddled up but B to make the next part really. And there's no way for my overhead camera to get a view of just how big this is but this is massive. I'm literally going to come in and just push back a little bit of that paper so that I can get this perfectly lined up. And then I'm just going to reach underneath like so. And I can then start working that in. Push back some of that baking paper. And just roll it back. Like so. And then again, I can come in with my brayer.
So again, so now we're just going to remove our transfer tape. So we're going to come in with our scraper. And just start rolling that back. We can then roll this and that is what we're just going to keep doing. So I've already added my layers onto this part of my sign, but I wanted to show you a technique with my bit further down. Oh man, I've lost a diamond. Oh well, I can cut another one out. It won't be the end of the world. Right, so I've got my sunflower here. And again, I've got my transfer tape. And we're going to give that a scrape from the front, back as well. And then you always want to remove from the back. It gives you a lot more control and it just makes it a lot easier. So now rather than trying to sort of hover this over and work out where it needs to go, I'm again going to come in with a little bit of my baking parchment and I'm just going to place that over most of my transfer tape except for a little area here. I can then come in and line this up. Once I've got that where it needs to go, that piece of transfer tape that's exposed, I can then push that down. I'm then going to come in and just remove that baking sheet. So I'm just going to slide it out a bit at a time. Until that's all down and then I can come in with my scraper and then pull back that transfer tape and don't forget your transfer tape is completely reusable so pop it back on its backing and you can use it again and again and again And there we go, there is our absolutely humongous sign. I mean, it's massive, but these are lovely to make and you can do so many different ones. I'm gonna do a Halloween one. I can't wait for Halloween this year. But it's not as difficult as you think it is to transfer something this big. You just need to take your time and be methodical. And baking parchment, as I say, is your bestest friend. And it's also great for layering with as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, leave them below and I will see you all soon. Bye.